Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Sasha and Littlefish, and today we are playing Mafia 3. In the last one, we saved some prostitutes from having to live a horrible life. And all you coins smell like shit, or is it just you? And now I think we are Trying to kill some people to I'm not even sure what we're doing to be honest with you. But we're doing it. I'm just trying to follow the map and I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing yeah, next. Right. Here, that's, uh... Um. Oh wait, now I'm trying to find like the, the little red dots or the red spots or whatever on the map. I'm supposed to. I am supposed to kill those guys. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, it says kill. So I'm supposed to kill this guy coming up right here. I lost it. Where'd he go? Oh no. Where'd he go? This here is the kind of place your daddy told you to avoid. Watch this out. Whites. Oh my God. How are you all doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Just been playing video games. I worked a little bit today. I worked for a couple hours. Made a little bit of cash. Oh, there's a cop right there. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm supposed to go that, that way. Kill Merle's pimp. What's this? The voice is looking to liberate all black folks starting in the hollow. What is this? Cassandra. Part, part voodoo shop, part base of operations for Cassandra and the Haitian gang. Okay. Let's go. Let's go over there. Pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. So yeah. Bopping along here in the hollow. Uh, New Bordeaux. That's the name of this place, right? New Bordeaux. Live right, live free. WBYU. New Bordeaux. Turn your ass 
around. Right. He's here! Right here! He's killing us! Motherfuckers better say something for me! Get out of here! I'll be our real down here! Make way! <laughs> Ready when you are! Ready to hit him! Return to the boys. Alright. Hey, there's another car exactly like the one that we were just driving. How convenient. Thank you. You were side for Continuing will cause remaining racket objectives to be removed. Uh okay. So Murrell's hold up over at Purlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Kill Merle Jackson. Okay. I need... Donovan's base off his center in the flea bag motel. Sammy's bar, current cash and wallet 2460. Stash it here in the safe downstairs. Um, I need, what I need is another gun. Because I only have eight bullets in my current gun. That's really what I need. What was, okay, here's the question of the day. What was the first car that you ever owned? One of the first cars that I ever owned was a 1964 Volkswagen Type 3. Uh, I bought it from my parents for five grand. I'm dead. Nice. And I probably lost all the money I had. Shit. Well, that's all right. We'll just go back and do it again. Well, I lost half of the money, I guess. Not all of it. I saw the machine gun. I'm gonna need to take a ride, darling. My car! Please don't take my car! I 
I'm surprised they didn't call the police on me. Anyway, leave it in the comments below. What was your first car? I've had a lot of other cars. The first car that I ever drove, the first car that I learned how to drive on, was a 1985 Toyota pickup truck. Oh shit. And I'm dead. Um, after I drove that 85 pickup, I drove a Trans Am, an 80, I think it was an 86, white Trans Am, Pontiac Trans Am, for a while. Um, those are the cars that my parents had, or had me drive when I was Still growing up. Huh? There's our problem. I see him! Um, what else? One of my favorite cars that I ever, um, owned, I bought an 89 BMW 535i for 1500 bucks back in like 2010, 2011, and well, that thing was awesome. Maybe I, he's gonna shoot someone. I regret Still selling it, to be honest with you. Huh? It ran perfectly, never had any issues, never had tire blew out one time. Yeah, come get Yeah! Gonna make you scream for mama! Oh no. Need a second to reload! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh boy, that piece! So yeah, it's car talk here on the Talk Game Poodlefish Show. Um, Just do my job. Where's the air? Just doing my job, which I fucking love. Just shot. Someone just shot me over there. We've been looking for you. <laughs> God damn it. He's taking us down. <laughs>
got me. Some bitch tagged me. Yep. Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Yeah, the prostitution racket is secured. We did it. Pearl is nightclub. Income increase, thirty thousand dollars. Uh, view associate upgrade path. Assign to Cassandra. I guess I'll assign to Cassandra. I don't know what that means. Dixie motherfuckers are out of Pearlis. Have you men come lock it down? Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. Alright. So, anyhow, I've never owned a gun before, and for all intents and purposes, I'm not allowed to own a gun, which is quite unfortunate. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to... Uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. And that's the person who we put in, in charge of running the strip club. Okay. Associate Gain, Screaming Zemi, a terrible distraction device. Community needs this place, Mr. Clay. A place for folks to forget their problems and have some fun. We'll get back in our yellow, our big yellow taxi. They paid paradise, put up a parking lot. Um. Donovan's got intel on who's running the hollow smack racket. In El Salvador, 2,000 right. GM students took to the streets in protest against President Johnson. Carrying signs calling the president the murderer of Vietnam, the students hope to disrupt the summit meeting between Johnson and five Central American presidents. The students chanted, Viva Viet Cong, and burned an effigy of Uncle Sam at the front gate of the American embassy. And we are here at what looks to be a graveyard. This can't be right. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. Yeah. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if we manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. All right. God oh, damn it! 
People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. Fire tap the first Baptist church. Alright. Let's try this. Wire tapping note activated. Achievement unlocked. Standard communication device. Interrogate Charlie Pushers. got going on at the church there's all kinds of dope over at the church if you destroy it the boss is gonna lose a lot of money uh your ass is mine now like the good book says fuck you uh, shit yeah. oh. We're in a racist car right now. As you can see by the Confederate flag, which I'm pretty sure is like banned everywhere nowadays. But back when I lived in the South, there they would sell Confederate flags at Walmart and we bought some. And that might seem racist, and it probably is on some level. dead all right this is going to be the end of today's episode thank you all so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up or don't i don't give a shit and i'll see you all in the next one and uh wait for it to load wait for it to load and uh bye everyone